YouTube too, and it's your boy Brandon Grove, self top designer, and today we're going to be talking about productive tips for those with busy ass schedules. So with that, let's get into it. So if you guys are new to this channel, my name is Brandon Gross, I'm a self taught designer. I work with large brands such as Disney, Dan, and, and Huggies. And with that said, this channel is all about building your brand as a designer and getting paid like you should. So if you guys haven't already, go ahead and like this video because you guys are going to learn something and subscribe to this channel because we got a lot of cool shit here. So with that said, getting back into our topic, productivity and being able to manage your time and schedule your day effectively in order to get the work done that you need. We all have our day-to-day -day tasks. We go to work. If you have kids, you got to deal with them. If you have school, <laughs> most importantly, with a lot of my, my viewers, you guys are in school. Um, you know, you have friends, you have, you know, sports, you name it. You guys take a shit in the middle of the day. I know mine take 30 minutes, but anyway, <laughs> you know, anything. So really how, um, I'm going to lay down some groundworks of how I would like to go about my day. And these are tips and tricks that I've learned from books that I've read, Tools, Tools of Titan, something like that. It was a big ass book, shit's like this thing. Anyway, so basically scheduling our time in order to be effective in our work, especially with um, you know us designers, finding time to get those personal pieces in, in order to push ourselves to that next level to get the job or the type of client that we want to get is extremely important. It, you know, our, our work depends on it. So first of all, I'm going to give a very key thing in terms of using your time effectively. And this is scheduling your day. And this isn't a fucking to-do list. What is extremely effective is only listing out um, the main only three to five tasks, specific tasks that must be done that day. This keeps you accountable. This keeps your tests specific and also allows you to chip away at a larger task in smaller bits throughout the week. So for example, let's say the big goal is to finish a client site by the end of the week. Through that week, my then to-do list or my task list is what we're going to be talking about, the three to five things that are a must do by that day. Monday could be like build out navigation. Day two, create specific page. Day three, create specific page number two. Things like that. Personally for me, it's getting my three posts for Instagram in the morning, vlogging by the nighttime, finishing a specific task for my client website, but depending on which project I'm working on. And then normally a fourth task that is basically focused on a larger goal of the month. So I take, I have basically my day-to-day -day schedule is based upon three to five main tasks that must be done that day. And that keeps me focused and I can see specifically what I need to get done. But these are paired with monthly goals and I break them down daily. So I have my monthly goals, for example, or weekly, whichever the time frame is. And I basically say, okay, this is what needs to be done by this date. And then I work backwards and say, okay, I can break this down into seven days, 30 days, and I have specific tasks for each one of those days. And this keeps me accountable and it's also less stressful because I can stay consistent with small tasks over a long period of time that basically chip the stone. So I don't have to do big chunks of work, big chunks of work, big chunks of work. It's about breaking down the larger things into smaller bits so that you can consume them easily. This is basically called chipping at the stone. Chipping at the stone is basically small consistencies over time equal big change. It's not about doing massive amount of work at once because when you tr try to do massive amount of work at once, not only do you get tired out and burnt out easily because we can only do an efficient amount of work in between, you know, two, one to two hours if you're really starting out and focusing in that particular area and someone who's really focused at, in a particular area can focus between maybe four and maybe five plus hours of focus on a particular project. But I never really like to work outside of four hours of extreme focus because after that, my effectiveness starts to drop off. So with that said, guys, 
to be efficient with our schedules, have a main goal, whether that be monthly, weekly, um, just put a deadline on it and break those out into your daily schedules. Your three to five most important things to accomplish within a day. And you span that out across days, weeks, months, whatever it be, but give them specific tasks. And even if you don't start on this level, the months or your deadline time, have three to five must do's by the end of the day. And always finish the easier tasks first so that you can get those out of the way and then focus when it comes time to do the big task that you have all the time that you need to focus on those things and not worry about the other things on the task list. Recapping, main deadline, stretch those things out over a period of time, three to five things per day, five max, and then do it. <laughs> so this is how I run my schedule. I also schedule my, to my task list the night before so that in my sleep, uh, my body and my mind can get acclimated to the things I need to do next day and it becomes subconscious in terms of what I need to do and I allow my brain to you know, go through the motions for me while I'm sleeping and then when I wake up the next day, I really don't have to think about, oh, I waste time and thinking, oh, I need to do this. I've already done that work up front and I've slept on it and now I'm just ready to go the next day. With that guys, those are the, my productive tips for you guys. Deadline, space it out, and then do. And also plan beforehand. Try to plan your task list the day before and allow your brain to sit on the action plan while you're sleeping. Yeah, try it out. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this approach. Try it out and give me some feedback on what you think. Other than that, guys, Brennan Gross, self-taught designer, out.